The Zen Doctor with Dr. Stephen Simpson. Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Simpson and I'm an elite performance coach. Thanks for finding the Zen Doctors podcast. Right now I'm walking by the Thames in lockdown London. Normally I'd be shouting to make myself heard, but there's hardly a boat on the water at the moment. And if I look ahead, there's hardly a plane in the sky because normally this is non-stop on their final approach into Heathrow. So this is about as quiet as it gets, on which subject? This podcast channel is about developing a Zen mindset, one step at a time, with one episode every week lasting about 10 minutes. People who have the Zen mindset achieve more success in life with a lot less stress. They also seem to attract a lot more luck. Together, we'll find their secret. How does this sound? Exciting? Let's head back to the studio, and we're going to make a start right now. We are living in challenging times. It's an overworked cliche, but I can't think of a better one right now. This has been a stressful period for all of us, some a lot more than others. Social distancing or isolation, no job, not enough money, too many relatives in too small a space, and no time to call our own. Some people will sadly have fallen sick. Some will have injured themselves in accidents or fights. Some will have fallen in love. Some will have died. Some will have been born. It's the whole arc of human experience compressed in just a few short days. Why have I decided to start a podcast channel? I've broken my main resolution this year, which was to keep life simple. Bizarre as it might sound, I did not feel as if the decision was mine. The idea of the podcast channel developed a life of its own, and the first podcast was scheduled a lot quicker than I imagined possible. Invisible giants surfaced as if from nowhere and solved most of my problems. I guess I was lucky. This will be a journey of discovery for both of us. I talk about luck a lot, to clients and to groups. Indeed, I've written a book on the subject called Get Lucky Now. Some of my clients have been hugely successful in many different ways. I want to know why they've been so successful so that you and me we enjoy more success in our lives too. I'll share with you two of these examples of unexpected success now. I don't understand how they happened, but I do know they're hugely significant. One concerns my first client in my current career as an elite performance coach. She wanted help with her golf. She got it, but I've no idea where this help came from. Three holes in one in just three months, and three more since. What would have happened to my new career if my first client, not this one in particular, but whoever it might have been, had not been helped, but had been driven to depression or worse? I'd almost certainly have quit. In case this sounds too fanciful, you might be surprised to know that I occasionally receive emails from golfers who've been driven close to suicide by this pernicious game. Fortunately for me, and for my client, other invisible giants were on my side, and within months I was working with top golfers on the European tour. I guess I got lucky again. And my lucky streak didn't finish there. Poker's a card game I knew little about, apart from that it was an easy way to lose my money. However, I do understand numbers, and I also know much more about how our minds work. Coaching poker players forms only a small part of my business, but it's fun. I've only worked with a handful of the top poker players, but they've all achieved stunning results. What did I do to help them? Again, I don't know the specifics, but I have a few ideas. We talked about goals and how they so often get in the way. We also talked a lot about mindset and how to stay calm in the eye of the storm when other players are feeling the pressure. I'm sure to share other secrets with you during later episodes in this series, because if these players can exceed their expectations, then perhaps you can too. How about that for a thought? What were the results of my work with these poker players? In terms of numbers, the four players I mentioned earlier earned collectively $413,000 six months before working with me. 
and six months after working with me had won a juicy $3,488,000. Those are big numbers by any definition, and for me, their coach, not being able to explain where this transformation came from, demands further exploration. This is why I feel compelled to attempt to explain the unexplainable and why this will be the mission of my podcast channel. It'll be a journey and it won't happen overnight, but we will get there. It will require a little patience, very little if any hard work, but quite a lot of thinking about stuff differently. As well as working with clients, I publish a lot of stuff. Seven books so far, over 15 audio books, 230 and more videos on YouTube, uh, numerous blogs, and a weekly webinar. In one way or another, they've all been about how we can explore and use the power of our unconscious mind in different ways. They've been practical. Two of the books have been about golf, one of the books has been about sport, one has been about personal development, one's about luck, One's about my work with professional poker players, and the last one, so far, attempts to bring all these various success strategies under one roof and explores, for want of a better word, magic and how we can attract more magic into our lives. These books have all been largely well received by readers and attracted mainly five-star reviews. They all helped at least some people as they struggled with their challenges, as I know from the emails I receive. As I finished each book, I vowed it would be my last one. So why will this podcast channel be different? It'll be different because it will not be created in a state of fear. It will not ask questions like, what if nobody likes this? What if I'm ridiculed for my ideas? What if I cannot prove some of the controversial statements I make? It's important that there'll be no fear because fear causes us to fight, to run, or just to freeze. It certainly gets in the way of luck. None of these options will help any podcast host. The problem is that these are the kind of questions, and there are many others like them, that surface whenever we step outside our comfort zone. The easy option is to use ideas and quotes from other people and so distance oneself from direct ownership and responsibility. I'll do my best to make sure that this podcast channel is about truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The problem, of course, is that nobody knows what the truth is. So the best I can say is that this channel will explore what I truly believe to be the magic ingredients that ignite success and transform lives. It's about Zen and an easier way to live. It's about the difference between thinking and knowing. So thanks for listening, and let's chat some more next week. If you have enjoyed The Zen Doctor with Dr. Stephen Simpson, then why not hit the subscribe button? The music, The Soul of the Shaman, was specially composed for The Zen Doctor. To find out more, go to drstevensimpson.com.